All right, number six tells us that one decagram, one decagram is 10 grams. That's given to us in the formula, in that table up top at the beginning of the top question in your textbook. It also tells us a thousand milligram is equivalent to one gram. Okay, so this is what's given to us. Now the question is asking us about two decagrams. So it's like two of this top one here. It's asking about two decagrams and it's saying how many one milli milligrams is two decagrams. So essentially it wants us to relate milligram to decagram. Right now there isn't a, there isn't a direct link but we can create one. So what do I mean by that? The only thing that links decagram and milligram, the only thing that decagram and milligram have in common is the gram. So right here since I know one decagram is equal to 10 grams, can I get this milligram to also equal to 10 grams so that they have the same exact number in common? Right now they have the same um, they have the same terms in common, gram, gram, but it's not the same number. So we need to fix that. So the best way to do that, just multiply this by 10. Now what am I multiplying by 10? I'm multiplying by 10 so that that way, when that 10 comes here, and then eventually comes here, it becomes, it makes this one 10 as well. So watch what's, what happens. This becomes 10 with a thousand, so 10,000, okay, milligrams, okay, is now equal to 10 grams, just like the one decagram is. So I can write this all as one line. So watch what happens here. I can now say, I can now say, um, let's make that black, I can now say one decagram is equal to 10 grams, okay? Which is exactly what we have here, one decagram is 10 grams. But now, based on what we have here in blue, we know that a 10 gram is now equal to a 10,000 milligrams. So I can continue this and say 10 grams, because 10 grams is one decagram, but I also know 10 grams is also 10,000, 10,000 milligrams, right? And all we did to do that was to just multiply this level by 10 so they both share the same 10 grams 10 grams so well based on this the question is really asking for two decagrams right so this needs to be two well think about it if i wanted to get one decagram to be two decagrams i'm essentially multiplying by two essentially multiplying by two but through the whole thing so this then becomes two decagrams is equal to obviously when two hits 10 it becomes 20 grams equal to when it hits 10,000, it becomes 20,000 milligrams, okay? So essentially, question then is, what's the relationship between two decagrams and milligrams? Well, two decagrams is 20,000 milligrams. And that's the answer. The answer is D, 20,000. But it really requires you just to pay attention to what term they have in common. They have grams in common, but you need to now make the number of those grams to be the same. We made it to be 10 by multiplying through by 10. And so we were able to write this, um, the black um, relationship here, one decagram, 10 grams, 10,000 grams. But we, since we want two decagrams, you just multiply this by two, but it has to multiply everything. So now we know that two decagrams has a direct link to 20,000 milligrams, which is D. And so the answer there is D for number six.